The FDA has just approved the first oral pill for women struggling with severe postpartum depression after childbirth. Here to talk more about this is Dr. Pradeep Kumar with Austin Gastroenterology. Good morning, Dr. Kumar. Thank you so much for joining us. Today. Good morning, Amanda. Good to see you. Um, a lot of women suffer from postpartum, uh, different ranges of yes. postpartum. Some can't even come back to work because it's it's just difficult. Um, having a baby is hard. This particular pill is called, say it for me, Zeronalone. Zeronalone. Yes, Zeronalone, yes. Zeronalone. Yeah, that, it's the uh, generic name for it. Okay. You know, made by Sage Pharmaceuticals, and it's exciting, you know, particularly for people that suffer from postpartum depression. About half a million women, 500,000 women suffer from that at least, you know, and the treatments that were available you know, until recently, uh, were the same kind of antidepressants you would take for depression. And the problem with those is it takes weeks, sometimes months, to really kick in. And, you know, when you just have a child and you have true postpartum depression, which has risk of injuring yourself or your baby, you know, you, you, you know three months is a long time. And so there's a new class of medication called neuro steroids. These are steroids, not unlike prednisone, you know, and other things we do as anti-inflammatories, uh, but they get into the brain and it helps the steroid activity in the brain. So really doesn't work on serotonin or any of those neurotransmitters, works on increasing the steroid levels in your brain. Um, and with that, it can help postpartum depression very quickly in as little as two weeks. Uh, until recently, the only medicine we had that was a neurosteroid required 60 hours of IV infusion. So to have an oral pill that you can take for two weeks is really a game changer. Um, in, in terms of, of symptoms, uh, what, what should a, a women or, or partners be looking at? Yeah, so you know, there's that idea of the, having the baby blues, yes. right? That, I mean, I think everybody, you know. Well, you're not sleeping. I mean, yeah. Let's just be honest, you're not sleeping. Yeah, it's not just women, it's men too, you yeah. know, I mean. New fathers, new mothers. Nobody you know. tells you, you know, what, and if you're all alone or, or you don't have family nearby and, and you're the, yeah. It's exhausting. Yes. It's exhausting. And so that's not postpartum depression. Postpartum depression goes way beyond that. You know, it's, it's not just lack of sleep. It's lack of joy, lack of connection to your child. Um, it's thoughts of suicide, thoughts of harming yourself, harming others, just that black bleakness, uh, la you know, just hopelessness which can really affect your own health as well as the health of your child. And in fact, of postpartum deaths, you know, of, of women, of women, 20% of them are due to suicide, you know, from postpartum depression. And so it's a, it's a big deal, and these are symptoms that we need to pay attention to, and certainly our ob -Gen is aware of that, and their antennas are up, and they're going to ask, you know, things of that, of our, of our newborn, or of our new mothers. Um, but now, at least there's a, a pill that, if it's an, it indicated, can help with that and it can help pretty quickly you know and this stage is pretty good for as in as little as two weeks it can kick in and and many people start feeling changes within three days a lot of these neuro medications um, must be prescribed by a psychiatrist but because this one is uh, it deals with 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 postpartum in the entire body I mean a new mom's not gonna go it's it's difficult to get an appointment with a psychiatrist number one yeah um, it, it, it's in, Number two, for a new mom doesn't have time for that. So which doctor should a new mother look to to, to maybe prescribe this medication? And that's what's important about this. And that's a very good point is that ob will be able to write for this, you know, and they are equipped, you know, to see these signs. And so that's what makes it even better, you know, that this medicine's gonna be, an ob is gonna be eligible to write this medication just based on the signs and symptoms. And you'll be able to get it expeditiously. Uh, and, you know, we think it's gonna be safe. We do, you know, what's left out of this data is long-term. Like, what do you do after two weeks, you know? Not all postpartum depression is cured in two weeks, you know? Um, they have f up to 45-day data in which the, the effects last 45 days, but what do you do after 45 days? Can you take this again? You know, those, those questions remain to be answered, um, but, you know, it's a step in the right direction. This is good news for, for both ob and their patients that might suffer from postpartum depression, and it very well could be a game changer. You know, it's too bad it didn't get the indication for major depression, which Sage Pharmaceuticals, the company that makes it, also made the previous neurosteroid. Their stocks are going down because there's more of a market in, de in major depression, and so uh, they're going to wait and see if they can get that indication as well. Mm, a lot of changes happening. Okay. Dr. Kumar, thank you. As always, we appreciate you. you. If you have a question for Dr. Kumar, you can email us at askdrkumar.com.
at gmail.com and check out his website, drkumar.com. We'll be right back.